Hi guys, I'm Elisa Camacho and welcome to this week's episode, guys. <laughs> I hope you have been enjoying my American episodes. They, I try to get as much footage as I try to get as much footage as I could. It was really, really exciting. America is a beautiful country, guys, and uh, if you get a chance ever in your life to go visit there, please do. This week is my last episode on anything American because, well, I've run out of stories to tell you. So. You know, this week is a very interesting episode because I am talking about how Americans perceive South Africans. Yeah, there's a lot, guys, and there's a. There's, I got some really, really terrible questions, and I was just like, excuse me. <laughs> You know. Also, it was my birthday this past week on Tuesday, the 3rd of September. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. I really appreciate it. I had a beautiful day. So fun being 24. It's weird. Like, I'm officially an adult adult, you know? Like, 24, like, it's a big person number. 23 was still like, oh, you're three. But the minute you're like four, it's like, oh, hold up. You're a whole different number that sounds crazy but it's true let's get into this episode because there is a lot to say and very little time to say it in. so the first thing i want to say before i start off on this whole thing is that this episode is not in any way to try and bash americans or speak bad about americans because generally americans are really friendly and i didn't have any bad experiences except for maybe one or two creepy people along the way but that's normal i guess in today's day and age there's a lot of weirdos out there Literally, I had such a great time uh, getting to know people, exploring the city. The only thing was the one time I got into an Uber car and I was going to church and this guy was like playing very... And I mean like guys, I swear a lot, I do. But uh, this music was on another level and I was like, oh dear lord, I'm going to church listening to this music in the car. Like what if I rock up there and he's still playing it loud and clear and she, he's singing about a girl in a stripper pole and I'm just going to be like... I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> anyway, guys, so that's besides the point. The point that I'm trying to make is every time, so I had to Uber around to everywhere I wanted to go while I was in America, and in doing so, I met a lot of people. I also spoke to a lot of people, and uh, honestly, what I discovered and what I found out in the way I spoke to people, a lot of people don't pick up a book, and a lot of people don't Google either. It's like, we've created the internet and uh, no one's made use of it. So I don't know what's going on with people and with life, but uh, people should really, really use Google because that's what Google is for. I was happy to just be like a guiding light and shed a light and, and make sure that people don't think that South Africa is um, some backwards uh, hole in the wall kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. I just, anyway, let me tell you, Americans, oh, fascinating by everything you tell them, okay? You could say that you have brown hair and they'll be like, wow. I had a lot of the Uber drivers obviously pick me up from where I was staying and they would go into a new neighborhood that they've never been to before and they were literally like, wow, like, wow, this is, this is nice. This is, it's a really great place. And I'm like, this is not my place, so I can't take any credit for it, but thank you so much, I'll let the people know. God, it was just a standard neighborhood, but it, it was hidden. It was like a little secluded place, and they're just like fascinated. It comes as no surprise that when I tell them that I was from South Africa, they were like, what? It's like so many of them were like so excited that they had a South African in their car, and honestly, I was like, oh, thank, thank you. I'm, I'm, uh, thanks. <laughs> but at the same time, it was just like they like, came at you with questions. Most of the time, while I was in these Uber cars, I would speak with an American accent because I had to practice my American accent. So a lot of the times when they asked me where I was from, because Atlanta is a, like a cock part of like everybody and like just people from all over are all in Atlanta. So you generally have like a lot of people from different parts of America coming to stay in Atlanta. And so you, there's a lot of different accents. So when I was speaking with my accents, a lot of them thought that I was from LA, which is really good because I mean like that's that kind of accent that I'm like aiming for. I thought I was an actual American. So when I told them that I was from South Africa, they were just like, you don't say. And I think I confused them by speaking in the American accent and saying I was from South Africa because we have different accents. Some of the times I would get the question, where, 
from South Africa are you from? I'm from Johannesburg is what I would say and they would be like oh no I only know Cape Town and I'm telling you I'm from Johannesburg Johannesburg is one of like our major original cities you know gold and everything and the gold rush and whoosh you know it's like yeah okay yeah we know Cape Town Joburg. Everybody knows Joburg. Clearly not Americans that go past Joburg to get to Cape Town, so what are you saying? Johannesburg is a beautiful city, it's metropolitan, it's working, it's fun, it's got universities, we've got highways, we've got tall buildings, skyscrapers, nothing like Atlanta though, but we still have something, so I guess, you know, that counts for something. One of the things that I think they wanted to like straight out ask me, but they weren't able to, or they were feeling like a little shy, to ask me and that was if we have any animals roaming around no i very very quickly i cleared that up i was like no 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 okay we have national parks where the animals are free to roam but they are not in our backyards unless you live in fancy state you do and then you do have a giraffe but you got to clear that up you can't just be like oh love living in africa Giraffe in my backyard. No, no, not everybody has a giraffe in the backyard. Don't get me wrong. Okay, it's different guys So that's what I'm saying. They were like, so what's it like? Do you have any animals? And I'm like, yeah, I have dogs. I have two dogs. Thanks <laughs> Ease the conversation along and be like, no, we don't have wild animals roaming around. How big is South Africa? now guys I've seen Joburg. We can get from point A to point B in about 40 minutes. Yes? In America, I don't think that's the case. You know. <laughs> America's really big, guys. And uh, that is something that I mentioned. I was super overwhelmed when I got to America because it was just enormous. You know, like you're a tiny person in this really big world and these buildings are like taller than anything you've ever seen before in your life. So you're just like, wow, <laughs> thanks, America. So when people ask me how big South Africa is, um, I didn't quite know how to put it into words, but I was like, oh, we're smaller than America. Like that's for sure. I mean, like America is a whole continent, if we're being honest. South Africa is just a country on a continent. So it's a little bit different, you know? And that was the best way I could describe how big South Africa was. Now guys, I answered all these questions graciously. I answered them with kindness and with understanding and with an open mind about, you know, like explaining my country and the one time I got the most shocking question and I literally sat for a while and I was like what I think my brain like voluntarily shut down it was just like <clears throat> power down it was like no it's not no no someone Someone really didn't ask me that, right? You don't want to question anybody's intelligence because that's just rude, but at the same time, you do happen upon this question. Because you're like, what do you mean? I'm making it sound a lot more dramatic than what it is. Guy asked me, so where are you from? So I was like, oh, I'm from South Africa. He was like, oh, South Africa. Whereabouts is that? Look, whereabouts is South Africa. I was, guys, no. Mm -mm. It's like, take me back home. <laughs> I don't know, get this man a map or a globe or a Google, you know, some, something. I composed myself in like the best way possible and I was like, oh, um, South Africa, we are on the African continent where the very southern tip of Africa, hence South Africa. We take up the whole bottom end. That's where we are. And they were like, oh, that's pretty cool. And I was like, no shit, bruh. Like, oh, what do you mean? Did you forget direction? Did you? Now I get it, maybe. No, I don't get it. It's like, where else? Like, there's the African continent. Like, there's no other Africa anywhere else. So, South Africa. Anyway, so we just, just left it. A lot of the times though, uh, I would say I'm from South Africa in my American accent and I'd be like, South Africa? And they would be like, oh, South America! And I was like, what? America, 
Africa, America, Africa, America, Africa. There's, there's two different words there. I said South Africa. Oh, South America. What? Are you deaf? Clean your ears out, my guy. Because South Africa, South America, are two very different continents. And then you'd like correct them and they'd be like, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Five minutes later. So, where about in South America are you from? What? I just said South Africa. And then would be like, oh, sorry, South Africa. And I'm like, Johannesburg. Oh, I'm like, clearly makes sense, you know. And uh, talking about uh, South Africa to one of the drivers, um, they asked me, so like, what languages do you speak there? And I was like, well, you know, we speak English and then, you know, we have 11 official languages. Now guys, try saying like our official languages with an American accent, like Afrikaans. What? really difficult one particular there was one particular uber driver that was just really fascinated by the fact that i came from south africa and i was speaking with my american accent and they were like can you like can you speak to me like a south african would and i was like do you want me to speak it's not like i mean I just switched his accent i was like are you sure like and i was like really nervous I was like, oh, I just... anyway so i started speaking with my south african accent and he's like whoa that is an amazing accent. And I was like, really? He was like, yeah, that's like really, really great. Like it's so different. And I was like, well, most South Africans don't like their accents. Very like identifiable. Like most people, like you hear our accents and they know immediately. Um, and they don't know where we're from, but they just know immediately that we're not like American, British or Australian. One of the main reasons why I spoke with my American accent, okay, yes, was to practice and everything, but it was also to just like communicate easier because there are a lot of words that Americans don't use and we do okay like we use lawyer they use attorney you try to say lawyer in an American accent and let me tell you you will be sitting there with a messed up mouth because you'll be like I don't know what happened to my mouth you don't say dustbin you say trash okay because you know it just was easier to communicate um with the American accents in America because then I was just able to be like yo what's up and I have and that was it thank you so much for watching this week's episode I hope you enjoyed it it was just a little bit of a tidbit that's something I wanted to share with everybody because it's just so interesting you know hopefully feathers fit tie everything up please follow me on my social media which is Alicia Camacho underscore official on my Instagram and Alicia C underscore official on my Twitter and then also please like share and subscribe to my channel remember you are awesome you are great and you are loved